Gotcha. Collecting decorations in Monster Hunter World Iceborne is a daunting and arduous task that consumes a lot of your playtime and really constricts how powerful your builds can be. So we're always on the lookout for better ways to earn decorations. And with the new seasonal event, the Holiday Joy Fest, we have a new way to grind for decorations and is probably going to be the fastest way to grind for decorations at this point. So back in the base game, the way you would grind for decorations is you would, you know, you'd do the tempered investigations, but then when the holiday seasonal events came around, you would fight the greatest Jagras or the name Slavasiath. And that was terrific. That was how you did it in the base game. Nowadays, you don't do that. I mean, you could, but you don't because they don't give you the giant decorations that are so valuable in Iceborne. They're really important that you grind for those. So we need new methods. Well, we use tempered investigations now. So uh, the, you go after your decorations by doing tempered investigations and you try to find one with good rewards and the easy to fight monster. Okay, but what if you want to go even faster? Well, now we have this new guild alchemy elder melder option where you take your uh, steel melding tickets, your si silver melding tickets and your gold melding tickets and you just give them, you hand them over to the Elder Melder, and she gives you decorations for these. <laughs> and and the, the way you obtain these tickets, you just go play the Steamworks. Aha! So now we have a really fast, passive way to be just creating decorations for ourselves. Because what do we already know about the Steamworks? You can go into the Guiding Lands with a pretty basic, you know, geologist setup for grinding the ores, and just gather a ton of ore, come back, and then run the uh, steamworks passively with like a rubber band on your trigger and not really have to work too hard on on getting your rewards from the steamworks so you can play steamworks passively for a long time build up a ton of steel melding tickets silver melding tickets and gold melding tickets and then just trade them all in with the elder melder so what this means is this is an especially good time to go out into the guiding lands and if you had some materials you needed to farm out there anyways just be sure to have a level 3 geologist with you while you're fighting, and then every time you run up to an ore, go farm it, and when you come back, you can get a ton of decorations on top of the materials you were already farming in the Guiding Lands. So that's why I'm recommending, if we're being really efficient, that's why I'm going to be recommending. Find out what materials you need in the Guiding Lands. You probably need some materials for augmenting. Go get those materials, geologist level 3, and farm the whole time. And of course, if you don't want to do that, if you just want to like, if you just want to build up a huge lot of ore, come back and then just leave this, you know, Steamworks running, you can do that as well. Ever since the seasonal event became available and we got the new guild alchemy option with the Elder Melder, I've been doing this myself and I can tell you the gold melding tickets actually give you a very good chance for a good decoration to drop. Unfortunately, they're also the hardest to obtain from the Steamworks, so you're not going to get a lot of them. But hopefully if you do, you get something really powerful. For example, Crit Boost, Weakness Exploit, Crit Eye, Handicraft. Uh, what are some others? I mean, Max Might actually gets used on bow guns now if you're going to be shooting Safajiva, because Safajiva doesn't have the best hit zone values. Uh, what else? There's all kinds of uh, distinguishable skills like Guard Up, Guard, Special Ammo Boost... Even Mind's Eye. Some people have trouble getting Mind's Eye. Focus for the Great Swords, right? So, uh, what else? Earplugs, maybe. Uh, earplugs isn't so bad, is it? I don't think Earplugs is so bad. Maybe Free Element, Ammo Up. That one's difficult to obtain. Uh, and uh, how about those giant decorations? Like the Agitator decoration that gives you two levels of Agitator. So, there's all kinds of things to go after here. Uh, and uh, now, now is probably the time to start trying this out. One of the things that I'm not sure about is how long will we have Guild Alchemy? I don't know if it's going to be a, a holiday-only event or if it's just permanently now on the Elder Melder. If it's permanently here, that's terrific. It means anytime you go out into the Guiding Lands now, you're getting even better rewards in the Guiding Lands because you can farm up all that ore with, again, Geologist 3 and just convert it over to uh, fuel for the, for the Steamworks. So that's terrific. But if it's for the holidays only, you'll want to get this done while the Holiday Joy Fest is here, and then when it's gone, it's gone. You'll have to wait till the next Holiday Festival to arrive. Alright, I hope you found this uh, helpful. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.